Hello everyone, a new video here, new rectification video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, the birth horoscope of uh, Chris Brennan, uh, trying to rectify it. Now, uh, I couldn't find a lot of events uh, for uh, Chris. I, I have a few, uh, two important ones uh, related to friends, uh, one recent death uh, of one of his friends whom uh, he attended uh, an astrology college with and the other is uh, Alan Oaken uh, whom he had a uh, close uh, relationship with and we will trying to uh, will be trying to rectify his uh, birth birth chart uh, just uh, mainly based off based off of these two events only now if you look here uh, at his chart uh, very astrological uh, he has Mars uh, in a good cosmic condition uh, right on top of the uh, 12th house uh, of course a planet related to uh, work uh, in a house uh, related to psychology uh, and metaphysics uh, and the occult in uh, general uh, in, in 2008 he an, uh, founded an astrology group I mean he has Aquarius uh, rising uh, which is a sign related to groups uh, installed very well uh, in the 10th house uh, and in conjunction with the Venus uh, the sextile here of uh, Venus to the ascendant uh, gives him uh, it basically helps resolve this uh, Saturn here uh, and it has a protective effect uh, on his uh, uh, health well-being and and his uh, relationships uh, in general uh, we can see here the ruler of the seventh uh, receives a sextile from uh, Jupiter but let, let's get into the uh, rectification here although although Jupiter here uh, is not is in a cosmic condition that's not good and the conjunction here of Neptune uh, very tightly although it justifies uh, his association associations with the uh, different astrologers uh, it, it definitely explains uh, the death of uh, uh, two of his one, one friend and uh, one uh, 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 close friend Jupiter, the bad cosmic condition here of Jupiter also does uh, uh, play some part. Okay, so for for the rectification, let's look for. Let me show you something first here. Now we we know that the eleventh uh, house uh, is a house related to uh, children. Well, not children, it, it's related to friends. Well, the, the opposition is related to children, the opposite house. If we look look, look here at this, uh, this is for the date when Alan Oaken dies. You can see Neptune squaring the 11th, uh, also Saturn on the ascendant. Uh, for of course, uh, this explains a very sad event uh, for uh, Chris. But this square here, uh, square of Neptune to the 11th, uh, very typical of uh, uh, problems with friends or the death of a friend uh, we can also check uh, another technique uh, converse transits and here we can see Neptune right on top of the eighth uh, which is a house which is a house related to death oh, oops also here th this Uranus here opposing the 11th uh, is very uh, important the opposition of Uranus here to the 11th very important because th this stays here in converse uh, transits it stays uh, th throughout it, it actually is present during the death of uh, two friends not just uh, one so you see here it's still an orb if you remember our orb 6 degrees and 30 minutes it's within orb here let's get uh, to our rectification here so we can choose a time so plus minus 30 minutes on uh, either th either side of the birth time and uh, this is our table here table of rectification peaks So for for me, 
I, I had some difficulty here rectifying this uh, chart so what what I did is uh, if, if you look at the base uh, for the de death of Alan Oaken which is a very important event here if you look at the base time you notice this interplanetary it's not an interplanetary but it's an aspect between the node the south node and the Mars uh, it's a square here so uh, it's an orb between this time uh, 20, uh, 20 hours and 26 uh, minutes then 20 hours and 32 minutes and for the uh, a prize, he gets a prize here from uh, ISR. Uh, for sure, this Jupiter sextile Uranus justifies the uh, event here. So it's available to us between 20 hours and 26 minutes. Uh, and 20 hours and 36 minutes. So, so I, I would assume that the exact birth time would be uh, located somewhere between these uh, two. Uh, not far away. So I I chose this and it's uh, 30 sec 36 seconds ahead of the recorded birth time and ma mainly because I mean it wasn't easy to choose it it, it looks like uh, I'm choosing the first time uh, right after the recorded birth time but uh, really no because uh, l look here at the death of uh, Alan Oaken we can see here the the eleventh house moves to a square with uh, Pluto, so it moves to about about here it's in direct motion. So it moves from here to here. It squares Pluto, and uh, Alan dies at the same time. It's there's a south node square with Mars, and th this also can justify the event. Th this is this also can just the Mars coming from here to here opposing the descendant and causing a death. If we look if we look at the second uh, death here, the eighth house squares the moon. Direct motion also. Now he here he publishes a book at the same time, so we can see. We can see here. Two two events, uh, one date, but also two events and one direction. So if you look look here at this uh, this Mercury here, see this Mercury comes to a conjunction with the eleventh, uh, indicating uh, an event related to a friend. In this case, it's death. But the opposition at the same time indicates an event related to uh, the fifth house, which is the publishing of a book. Now, the publishing of a book here, you can see here the Venus opposing the third moves from here to here, opposes the third uh, Jupiter uh, with the IC and this uh, uh, Mercury opposing the fifth. I mean, th th there are more more stuff that we can uh, look at. If if we look here, so solar return aspects. Bit bit far away, but. It this is a bit far away, but it can work for uh, it's not very easy uh, very easy to rectify because we only have uh, deaths of uh, friends al although not impossible but still I mean you see you see this Venus here this has nothing to do with uh, the death of a friend. But th this is actually the, the opposition to the fifth, uh, signifying the uh, uh, release of a book. See, from here to here. Book release.
Th look at this Uranus at the same time. This is so solar return uh, aspect. It's just aspects from the solar return on imposed onto the cusps of a radix. Uranus opposing the 11th. The orb here is uh, around 1 degree and 30 minutes. It's less than 1 degree and 30 minutes. It's 1 degree and 15. 1 degree 15 minutes. So 1 degree 15 minutes. Th this placement here justifies two events. One, the release of a book, and the second one, uh, the death of two friends, actually, uh, during the same time uh, span. Because they both die uh, in the same uh, solar return. So very interesting, if we look uh, Direct solar return well, I'm trying to find uh, an aspect here that justifies the... Okay, we have, we see here the sun Sun opposing Uranus Sun square, uh, Saturn and the solar return uh, to signify deaths of uh, friends Here it's a bit uh, clearer, you can see the Mars uh, in conjunction with uh, Saturn Mars in conjunction with Pluto signifying uh, death See this Mar Mars here So th this was uh, a bit of uh, Chris Brennan uh, He has a very uh, uh, strong uh, horoscope uh, ve Very good for an astrologer So uh, thank you for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I hope you use the techniques also uh, to rectify some charts and develop some uh, skill. And if you have any question, please leave them in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.